Hi friends, I've pulled out my sketchbook today and let's draw something together. So I'm going to be drawing a fox today and I've pulled out my sketchbook. This is a craft color sketchbook by Archer and Olive. I've gone ahead and just sketched out my fox. So to color in the fox, I've pulled out some gouache paints today. These are by Artist Loft, so I've added some paint here. Burnt Sienna, Yellow Ochre, Crimson Red, and lastly some white. So I'll just wet my paintbrush first, remove the excess water from it, and let's pick up the darkest color and just start with that. I'll just apply it a little bit, little bit to the feet. The two more paws here. And also everywhere that there are some shadows. I'm just flicking the paint like you can see. I don't want straight lines, I want jagged, uneven lines because this is a furry animal. I'll pick up some of the yellow and just add more layers on that. I'm not adding much water at all. I like the way the opaqueness of the gouache shows up on the paper. I don't want a watery color. Okay, I'll wash my brush. I'm just gonna pick up some white. The paintbrush might be a little dirty with the yellow, but that's fine. I'll just get some white on the body first. There's too much water, I'm just gonna clean that off. So I keep referring my image on my phone while I'm painting this. That way I know what I'm doing. I'm not just guessing where the color goes today. So you can see the gouache is kind of wet underneath. So the white blends with it at places, it mixes with it. Some places it doesn't and that's fine by me. I just want it to appear like layers of fur. So if the if the paint has dried, that's fine, I'm just layering the white on top. But if the paint is still kind of tacky or wet, it's blending and creating an in-between color and I'm okay with that too. So some more of the darker color over here. Maybe mix them. Create an in-between shade. Sometimes it looks like it's going to be a mistake, but I just embrace it. I'm like, okay, we can always go back, add more color on top if I need to, somehow fix it, but let's just see how it falls in place. Let's just see if it works out. Okay, really liking that. I think I need a little bit of black. So you can see that there's too much water on my paintbrush. I'm no longer getting that fur-like look to my strokes. So to get that fur-like look, you really wanna have a drier paintbrush. Not much water on your paintbrush. That's the way you're gonna get that. So I'm just gonna blend my colors here now. Kind of just to make sure I don't have any splotchy or any area that's calling attention. And then I'm gonna go back with a drier paintbrush and add that fur on top.
So I'm going to let the fox dry and just paint my little leaves around it. So I brought in some lemon yellow and pale green. Burnt sienna and the black. Mix it up to get a darker brown. And use that for the berries. And mix that with a little bit of the white for the mushroom here. There's always a point at which I'm kind of second guessing whether I need to add more or just stop. I think this really needs some contrast. So I'm going to mix the black with some of the burnt sienna. This is kind of watery, and but it's a soft black. I'm going to go in and add more details now. Dry brush, short strokes. And the strokes are just small. I don't want to cover up all the color that I've added underneath, but I just want a hint of the yellow ochre on top. Finally, I'm just going to pick the lamp black. I want to add the face details. Also add like a shadow here. Add a little color and then quite a bit of water on it. This is just to mark where the ground is. Finishing touch, I'm gonna pick up some white, add dots to the mushroom, the center of my flower. to spoil the face. I'm going to stop at this point. This was my reference image here. You can see I kind of stayed true to it. I kind of didn't. I might go in and add some pen details to this, but I like the way it finally finished. Here's a closer look. Thanks so much for spending some crafty time with me today, friends. I hope you have a great week. Happy crafting!